Hello everyone and welcome to another Whiskey Wednesday. We are in January, it is very bleak outside. Um, it's particularly foggy in Manchester today. I just about to see the sun coming through the clouds and all that kind of thing. It's actually quite beautiful, but you can't see it, so that's a shame. Uh, today we are talking about Compass Box. This was uh, number three, I believe, in my top whiskies of the year. Oh, last year, again, I keep messing that up. And I'm just going to talk you through why I think it's so nice and why I think it's worthy of this award. Uh, I opened this on Christmas Eve to celebrate Christmas as a whole because it's a time for drinking. Didn't have much of it because you don't need much of it. There's only about two and a half thousand bottles in the world of it and I want to make that last for quite a while. But what is, what is Compass Box Enlightenment? Compass Box Enlightenment is a truly outstanding blended malt. Uh, whiskies have been sourced from Mortlach, Bal Blair, Kleinleash and Glentuckus all vatted together and created this truly outstanding, super fruity, super fresh, clean style of blended malt. Um, I'm sure anyone who's been watching this channel since I took it over knows how much I love this company. Uh, they mean a lot to me personally and professionally. Personally, they were some of the first whiskies I ever bought kind of on my whiskey journey. And professionally, everything they do tastes great and there's just no messing about. It is what it is. Um, I'm not sure the exact percentages that make up this bottle, but if you go onto Compass Box's website, click on the little PDF diagram next to the bottle, it will tell you everything that went into it. Percentages, possibly ages, not really too sure, uh, the barrel contents and all that kind of thing. So yeah, truly, truly amazing. This is the bottle itself. It's non chill filtered. It is 46% and it is natural colour. Like many other limited editions, I'm probably going to pick up another one for future drinking because I think there are only about two and a half thousand bottles of this around. But let's not mess around, let's dig straight in, shall we? Beautiful, light, kind of straw colour. What you expect from a compass box. Smell. That is like throwing your nose into a fruit salad. That is kiwi and mango and passion fruit and fresh green apple and kind of sliced cut grapes. Really big, juicy, thick, fruity flavours. Something that I've only ever experienced before on the nose with things like Hakshu uh, 18, which is possibly my favourite Japanese whiskey of all time. Golden syrup, cantaloupe melon, like honeydew melon. There's a little bit of herbaceousness coming through there, which I would associate with that Glen Tucker style, because every Glen Tucker I've ever tried has always smelt a bit herby and a bit sage-like in style. That big hit of fruit can only be coming from the Mortlach and the Bal Blair, because those things are remarkably big hedonistic style whiskies in terms of florality. I think I may have just made up a word there with florality. The Klein Leash might be acting that kind of adding that waxiness to it because I get like a little bit of lime skin, a little bit of lemon skin. There's not a particularly salty edge to this whiskey, which is what you would expect with the Klein Leash. It's not a lot of salt. It doesn't come across as very coastal on the nose. But yeah, that's kind of like you've you got really drunk and just fell into a dessert trolley. It, there's so much fresh fruit. It's like it almost smells like it contains fresh fruit, like it's been added to it. It hasn't, but that's what it does smell like. It smells remarkably clean and summery. Ah, oh, smell it all day. But let's have a taste. There's the Clang Leash. Right at the end. The very, very, very end of this whiskey is like being in a tobacconist's. There's so much fresh tobacco and cigar leaf and the smell of a humidor. That's where that Clang Leash and that Glen Tuckus are particularly kind of intertwining with each other. In terms of the palette, all four shine pretty bright. You have that kind of slightly herbaceous nature, 
but floral nature of Bao Blair, specifically things like Bao Blair 2005 and the 1999, that slightly bittersweet floral elements coming through on the palette. The Mutlac, again, just provides so much fruit, clean, fresh, summery, ripe, juicy fruit. The Glen Tuckus, again, quite similar style to that Bao Blair, herbaceousness, more so kind of savoury style flavours, a little bit of ginger, a little bit of sage, maybe even some thyme. And then right at the end, literally the last taste before you uh, swallow it, white chocolate with a bit of sea salt and a little bit of tobacco. That Klein Leash just kind of claws in and brings those lovely kind of coastal warming style elements to it. Truly phenomenal, genuinely world class product. I don't think it can be beaten in terms of blended malts anyway. It's arguably the, the most Moorish whiskey I've ever tried in my entire life. Just for the smell alone, um, it's why it became one of my favourites of last year. The first time I smelt it, I was just like, that can't be real, that can't be a, a pure whiskey that's got to have something added to it to make it that fresh. And the only other things I've tried that are that fresh are those older Japanese styles, specifically from Hakshu. Not the longest finish in the world, um, kind of like medium length, a little bit drying, but Moorish, super, super Moorish. Um, yeah, it's so good. It's, it's genuinely so, so, so good. Um, easy. It's a nine and a half out of ten. Um, I, I can't think of any blended malt that's ever been made that equals that. And I'm, I'm wrecking my brain trying to think of one. And nothing is coming to mind. It is a true expression of what a blended malt is and how good it can be. Why Compass Box is so good. And how beautiful the world outside of single malts actually is. It's not all about single malt. If you are one of those people who only drink single malt, do expand your horizons a little bit. Because this is out there amongst numerous, numerous other things. Which I don't have enough time to talk about in this video. So yeah, Compass Box Enlightenment, 9.5 out of 10, all day long. Compass Box are amazing, John Glasser is amazing, that whiskey is amazing. If you can try it, get a sample of it. If you see it in a bar, order a glass of it. If you want to buy it, it's sub £60, pounds, um, which is truly outstanding in its own right, because you can charge 100 quid for that, and I would, I would still buy it, because it tastes that good. Um, but yes, thank you all very much for watching. I've been Phil, that's been Compass Box Enlightenment. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next week. Cheers.